The final reflection of this Easter day is the account of Jesus walking along the Emmaus Road with two people who didn't recognise him as they walked and talked together. If you have a Bible, it's worth pausing the video at this point and looking at the Gospel according to Luke, chapter 24, verses 13 to 35. As a Liverpool football club supporter, one of my favourite songs has to be You'll Never Walk Alone. I don't think anybody can fail to be moved as the anthem rings out just before the teams come out to Anfield. But regardless of the football connection, the words have tremendous meaning, I think, for us as Christians. In many ways, the Emmaus Road account is a difficult one to understand. Surely these followers of Jesus would recognise him walking there alongside him. They may have had doubts about his resurrection, but still they would see him there by the side of them, talking to them. But perhaps not. Perhaps the appearance of Jesus had changed. Or perhaps they simply didn't have the faith to believe that Jesus had indeed risen from the dead. Whatever the situation was, Jesus walked alongside these two followers as they told him of the events of the past few days, of how Jesus who they had thought was the Messiah had been condemned to death and crucified, but who, according to some of the women from their group of followers, had now risen from the dead and was alive. These two followers were confused. They were seeking comfort. They were seeking answers. And whoever this stranger was, they seemed to like him. He was there for them, listening and offering wise words. When they reached their destination, they asked him to stay with them, and there, as they shared bread at the table, their eyes were opened and they recognised Jesus. So what has this road to Emmaus account got to do with the song, You'll Never Walk Alone? Well, in fact, it's got quite a lot to do with it, because in this Emmaus account, Jesus is reminding those followers, and every one of us since, that because of that first Easter day, He's with us at all times and in all situations. Think of those words of the song. When you walk through a storm, hold your head up high and don't be afraid of the dark. At the end of the storm, there's a golden sky and the sweet silver song of a lark. Walk on through the wind, walk on through the rain. Though your dreams be tossed and blown, walk on, walk on with hope in your heart and you'll never walk alone. Life is a journey with many ups and downs. For the disciples of Jesus, those days after the crucifixion were mixed with all kinds of emotion, disappointment, anger, grief, loneliness, maybe even abandonment. But Jesus was there for them. In our lives, we too will go through the whole range of emotions at times, but Jesus is there for us. In these times of isolation, people are often looking and waiting for someone to be alongside them, to assure them that they can have hope, that they can be confident of a future, that they can know that someone cares for them. People need to know that there is no darkness of which they need to be afraid, that they can keep going through the storms, through the wind, through the rain, through the loneliness, through the isolation, confident that Christ is alongside them. But so many people are, just like those early followers, blind to his presence. Easter Day is the most joyful day in the Christian calendar. The resurrection of Jesus is the reason that we can have hope, that we can be sure that whatever situations we may find ourselves, Jesus is there with us. Jesus walked that Emmaus road with his followers, but through lack of faith or sadness or depression or whatever else it was, they failed to see him. Jesus walks alongside each one of us today, in good times and in bad times, and we celebrate his presence with us. Today we celebrate the assurance of Christ's victory over death and his wonderful promises of eternal life. Walk on, walk on with hope in your hearts. You'll never walk alone, for Jesus Christ is with you always. Let us pray. 
Alleluia, Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Praise the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. He has given us new life and hope. He has raised Jesus from the dead. God has claimed us as his own. He has brought us out of darkness. He has made us light to the world. Alleluia, Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. God, who through the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ has given us the victory, give you joy and peace in your faith and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be upon you this Easter time and always. Amen. <laughs>